Hey everyone, it's Alex Roy here, your trusted realtor in Eastside Portland, coming to you today with another weekly walkthrough. Today I've got a fantastic little remodeled home over at 4703 Southeast 36th Place. We're just two blocks from the Trader Joe's on Southeast 39th, Cesar Chavez, and just a block and a half from a Starbucks. So it's a fantastic location. And this home is fantastic because it, though built in the 1920s, has been completely gutted and entirely new interior interior totally new exterior. This whole home is practically brand new if not for the original studs and the foundation and the sidewalk out front. So very excited to show that to you. But before we get going on that, you're probably wondering why is he wearing that crazy balloon animal hat? Well, hey, that's to make you aware that this Sunday, June 10th, I'm going to be down at the Woodstock Farmers Market there helping out with some fellow John L. Scott agents making free balloon animals for all the kids. So if you've got kids, stop on by the Woodstock Farmers Market on 46 and Woodstock and grab your free balloon and say hi. All right, let's go in and check out this house. So right away, as soon as you come in, you can see everything's been redone. We do still have some of the original uh, framing work of the original 1920s home, but otherwise you've got new windows, you've got new manufactured hardwood floors that feel great under the feet. You have brand new paint. Pretty decent sized living room, feels really comfortable and I like how the door is offset in the living room and not right in the very front of it so you have a portion of it that is away from that front door facing right out onto the street. Personal. Uh, preferred thing for me. Let's go check out the upstairs and the bedrooms. It has three bedrooms. Two of them are on the main. They're pretty much identical mirror images to each other. Once again, new windows, but with the original frames, the manufactured hardwood floor, and decent closet space on both of them. You're getting the same thing on the room across the hall. The third room is upstairs here which is carpeted and gives a little bit different acoustic sound than those uh, hardwood floors do. Certainly got space in here for at the very least a uh, double bed and then additional uh, closet storage space back here. But this could also make a fantastic office or crafts room. And I love the original 1920s quirkiness of how the upstairs is laid out. This room certainly gets wonderful light all day as this southerly facing window is going to be catching that light streaming in here. So all of that, you know, pretty basic for as far as, you know, updating a house. You've got the fresh drywall and the paint, but here's where the updates really shine. And I love what they've uh, done with the bathroom. Keeping it with the very early 1900s uh, floors that you see in bathrooms in Southeast and Northeast Portland, they've gone with the hexagonal tiles, looks great, and that combined with the subway tiles has a really nice fresh uh, feel in this smaller bathroom, but also has that original character charm. Love it. Coming into the kitchen. Also clearly fully remodeled with stainless steel appliances. Uh, I believe that's a quartz top, might be a laminate top. Don't quote me on that. I'll check that later. And one other thing I really like is the recessed lighting uh, that's set in in both the living room ceiling and the kitchen ceiling. It's nice, it's subtle and provides great light. Let's head on out to the sunroom. Here we see some of the original windows of the home. It's been cleaned up really well. This is like one of those little additions that they added onto the home at some time in its life uh, with these great single pane windows. And you can see it just has a great view of this nice quiet neighborhood area. Before we head outside, I'll just show you the basement. The basement is partially finished to a, a very good functional state. You got concrete floor still, but finished off drywall and a designated spot for your washer and dryer and an, certainly enough room for folding tables or extra uh, storage shelving or closets. And then your utilities, brand new uh, gas furnace and gas water heater. Looking great. All right, let's head to the backyard. So the house is three bedrooms, one bathroom, a little over 1,500 square feet, and sits on a pretty good sized lot. Clearly, 
used to be a building right here. You've got the whole foundation of what I'm just going to safely assume was a garage with the driveway leading out to the side of the house. But what you're left with is a pretty fantastic patio that you've got the potential to build on. That's for the buyers to do their own due diligence and find out about permitting with the city. But there is a foundation there that may be usable. If anything, you could do a lot of great parking on this off street parking for boat, extra truck, toys like that and at the very least have a canopy over top of it and while we're out here another great opportunity to look up at the roof and see the great job with the new roof and siding on this wonderful home so as always guys don't forget my name is Alex Roy your trusted realtor in East Side Portland this is a weekly walkthrough and if you like these videos I definitely encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel or like my Facebook page so that you're getting updates on me on these and if you ever want to see any of these homes give me a call anytime and I'll get you in for a tour super easy and I love to meet with you guys and show you these homes I'm Alex Roy working hard for your success